Malaysia is rapidly emerging as a significant player in the global semiconductor industry. This transformation is driven by strategic government initiatives, a skilled workforce, and robust infrastructure. The country is positioning itself to capitalize on the increasing global demand for semiconductors, which are essential components in everything from consumer electronics to advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and electric vehicles. A cornerstone of this transformation is the National Semiconductor Strategy, or NSS. Launched by Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, this ambitious plan aims to make Malaysia a global semiconductor powerhouse within the next decade. With fiscal support of approximately 5.3 billion US dollars, the strategy focuses on enhancing local capabilities in integrated circuit design and advanced packaging. It also aims to attract significant foreign investment and strengthen Malaysia's role in the global semiconductor supply chain. The semiconductor industry is already a critical part of Malaysia's economy, contributing significantly to GDP. The country ranks as the sixth largest exporter of semiconductors, accounting for about 13% of the global market in packaging, assembly, and testing. With the global semiconductor market projected to grow by 13.1% in 2024, reaching a value of 588 billion US dollars, Malaysia is poised to benefit from this rising demand. Sectors such as automotive, healthcare, telecommunications, and consumer electronics are driving this growth, and Malaysia is aligning its strategies to meet these demands. One of the key strengths of Malaysia's semiconductor industry is its robust infrastructure. The country boasts world-class industrial parks and research and development centers that support semiconductor manufacturing. This infrastructure plays a crucial role in attracting foreign direct investment. Companies like Intel and Infineon have made substantial investments in Malaysia, drawn by its advanced facilities and supportive business environment. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more updates. Malaysia's highly skilled workforce is an equally vital asset to its semiconductor industry. The country has developed a large pool of talent specialized in electronics and semiconductor technologies. Educational institutions offer programs tailored to industry needs, ensuring a steady pipeline of skilled professionals. Additionally, the government is actively working to upskill and expand this workforce. Under the NSS, Malaysia plans to train 60,000 engineers by 2030, focusing on areas like integrated circuit design and advanced packaging. This initiative not only addresses the growing demands of the industry, but also aims to improve wages and retain talent, countering challenges like brain drain. Malaysia's geographic location further enhances its appeal as a semiconductor hub. Situated in Southeast Asia, the country offers easy access to major markets like China, Japan, and South Korea. This strategic position allows for seamless integration into regional supply chains and provides a competitive edge in logistics and transportation. World-class ports and airports, along with advanced industrial zones, facilitate the efficient movement of goods and reduce operational costs for manufacturers. The Semiconductor Strategic Plan, an extension of the NSS, outlines ambitious goals for the industry. Malaysia aims to attract 107 billion US dollars in investments and establish itself as a global leader in advanced packaging and wafer fabrication. The plan also focuses on fostering domestic companies, with targets to create at least 10 Malaysian firms generating revenues of up to RM 4.7 billion. Another 100 semiconductor-related firms are expected to achieve revenues nearing RM 1 billion each. This strategy is designed to increase Malaysia's share of global semiconductor activities from 13% to 15% by 2030. Research and development are key to this growth. Malaysia is investing heavily in R&D to foster innovation and maintain its competitive edge. Collaborations between government, industry leaders, and academic institutions are helping to establish Malaysia as a global hub for semiconductor innovation. By focusing on advanced technologies and sustainable practices, the country aims to build a resilient and future-ready semiconductor industry. Sustainability is also a priority. Recognizing the environmental impact of semiconductor manufacturing, Malaysia is adopting greener practices. Efforts are being made to reduce energy consumption and resource use during production. These initiatives align with global trends towards environmental, social, and governance, ESG compliance, 
making Malaysia an attractive option for companies looking to align with sustainable practices. The demand for semiconductors in the automotive sector presents a significant growth opportunity for Malaysia. The automotive semiconductor market is projected to grow at an impressive rate of 11.8%, reaching 114 billion US dollars by 2030. The rise of electric vehicles and the integration of advanced technologies in cars are key drivers of this growth. Malaysia's strategic initiatives are aimed at capturing a substantial share of this expanding market. Artificial intelligence is another area of tremendous potential. The AI chip market in Malaysia is expected to grow by 40% annually, reflecting the increasing importance of AI technologies across various sectors. By focusing on AI-driven innovation, Malaysia is positioning itself at the forefront of technological advancements that will shape the future. Malaysia's workforce is critical to this success. Partnerships between educational institutions and industry leaders are facilitating practical training and knowledge transfer, ensuring that graduates are well-equipped to meet industry demands. Government programs, such as the Returning Expert Program, aim to attract Malaysian professionals working abroad and bring in skilled foreign talent. These initiatives address talent shortages and enhance the industry's global competitiveness. Despite these strengths, Malaysia faces challenges in maintaining a steady supply chain. Geopolitical tensions and global disruptions have highlighted the need for diversification. To address this, Malaysia is strengthening its trade relationships and building robust supply chain connectivity. The NSS emphasizes resilience by promoting local capabilities and reducing dependence on external suppliers. Investments in trailing-edge chip production and advanced packaging are part of this strategy, ensuring Malaysia remains a key player in the global semiconductor landscape. Malaysia's strategic location plays a pivotal role in its success. Proximity to major electronics hubs like China, Taiwan, and South Korea allows Malaysian firms to integrate seamlessly into regional supply chains. The country's efficient logistics and transportation systems further enhance its appeal. Ports in Penang, for instance, provide direct access to global markets, facilitating the export of semiconductor products. This comprehensive ecosystem supports all stages of semiconductor production, from raw material sourcing to assembly and testing. Malaysia's semiconductor industry is poised for continued growth. The National Semiconductor Strategy and its accompanying initiatives provide a clear roadmap for the future. By focusing on innovation, sustainability, and workforce development, Malaysia is set to enhance its role in the global semiconductor supply chain. The country's ability to adapt to technological advancements and market demands ensures its relevance in a rapidly evolving industry. The impact of these developments extends beyond economic growth. Malaysia's efforts in the semiconductor sector are also driving technological progress and creating high-quality jobs. The industry's success contributes to national development, elevating Malaysia's position on the global stage. With a strategic vision and strong foundations, Malaysia is well on its way to becoming a semiconductor powerhouse. If you found this video informative, Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the global economy. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.